It's a pretty prestigious one too. Long list of illustrious winners. It's a loaded draw. And we have a former champion next up on centre court as well. The 2009 winner, Svetlana Kuznetsova. World number nine takes on Kiki Burtons. World number 20. Oh, pulling the trigger at the right moment. Oh, flick of the wrists. It's a fine way to close out the set. Oh, wow. Well, oh, what a rally. Oh, yes. Again, both players going toe to toe. Well, Kuznetsova clung on in the rally, but Burton's is coolness personified as the Dutch player breaks. Stunning set of tennis from Kiki Burtons. And the world number 20 has been relentless. Oh, yes. And there's another error. You can understand it because the level has been so high since the first set between these two. Well, it certainly wasn't Kruzy for Kuzi, but Kuznetsova does ensure she makes it through to round two. And what was a thrilling first round encounter. And you can just tell by how the crowd have reacted here. That was a wonderful match the 2009 champion who has made it through to round two well a very warm welcome along to action from the porsche tennis grand prix here in stuttgart where this evening session ushers in the return of former world number one maria sharapova standing in her way today is the experienced italian roberta vinci a place in the second round is at stake here today Two of the three saved. And that does go long. There's a good return. And if anything is too short from Roberto Vinci, just know it's going to get put away. And there's another. The break back for Maria Sharapova. The first game on the board for the Russian. Oh, well put away. 
really well controlled forehand. Good defensive work that from Sharapova, just keeping that point alive. Now this might be the chance now. And she gets it. The net court helps her out on set points. But Maria Sharapova is a step closer to the second round here in Stuttgart. She takes the first set by seven games to five. And it is taken this time. And she's put it away. Drop shot right. Long it goes, and Sharapova, there's the celebration once more. And that will do it. The celebrations are hers. A highly anticipated evening, and Maria Sharapova able to handle the pressure. It's a tournament she has won three times before, but I think this first round win might just mean as much to her. Well, welcome back to the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Stuttgart, center court, the focus. And we have a mouth-watering matchup to finish the day session today on day two. It is Kristina Mladenovic. She's up against Annette Contivated. <laughs> beautiful volley from Mladenovic. So short at the net. It's not that big forehand, but plays exceptional that too. Fires another forehand winner. Seven breaks to serve in a row here on centre court. Contivate once again leading. Good front court tennis from Contivate. Got herself inside the baseline. Wonderful play. Such creative tennis yet again from Kiki Mladenovic. Finds the baseline with the return, Mladenovic. And one of the most unpredictable sets of tennis you will see is finally won by the world number 20. Made it. And that's the hand skills on show once again. Oh, act of wizardry from Mladenovic. Oh, great conviction. Made it. Great character from Contivate. Saves two match points, comes through the game. Has it found the line? Ivanovic thinks it's wide, it's been called in. It is in. And we are going to a decider. Shots of the day. Oh, 
Oh, oh just doesn't hold back there. Nothing wrong with that forehand. It's special. And back comes Contivate again. Devastating angle from Contevet. What a way to stop the rock. A performance of true guts and character as Annette Kontovec snaps a four-match losing streak, saves two match points in the process and wins a marathon to move through to round two. She's knocked out last year's finalist. Wasn't always pretty. There were some difficult moments, but it's Kontovec who beats Kiki Mladenovic. 5-7, 7-6, 7-6 in three hours and ten minutes in one of the longest matches of the year so far. It's a loaded draw and it's also a small draw and what that can often mean is you get blockbuster matches in the first round and we certainly have one of those here as the world number seven and sixth seed here, Caroline Garcia takes on a three-time former winner of this title and former world number one, Maria Sharapova. Super one-two punch. Oh, it's another smoothly struck strike from Maria Sharapova. Still looking to come forward and again getting that first strike in, the first serve so key. What an amazing point. Sharapova turning defence into attack. Well, she's won this tournament three times before, Maria Sharapova. And she's got her 2018 campaign off to an excellent start. Such a high quality point. And listen to the noise for Caroline Garcia. Brilliant. Terrific front court tennis from Garcia. Oh, that's an astonishing shot. Had to get so low down to make it. That will do it. Oh, that's great tennis from Sharapova. Super footwork and ball striking capabilities from Caroline Garcia. There it is. We are going the distance. Oh, did well with a low ball. Time to set up on the ball and made the most of that time. Oh, yes, finds the corner. Yeah. 
stunning tennis from Caroline Garcia. It's a fabulous comeback win for Caroline Garcia. She was two points away from defeat in the second set, but the sixth seed roars back to knock out the three-time former champion as Sharapova's wait for a match win goes on. Garcia wins an epic. Two hours and 44 minutes of absorbing tennis. Here comes the former quarter-finalist back in 2017, Anastasia Sevastova, preparing to take on her compatriot and fellow Latvian, and also a former quarter-finalist here, Yelena Ostapenko. Really good finish. That's the damage she can do. Too good. She's so quick around the courts of Astava. Gorgeous finish. She's got the double break. But now the set is wrapped up by Sevastova. And impressively so. She's played really well throughout it. Ostapenko breaks comfortably. And that's the first time she's managed to do that in the match. Not going to miss from there. Oh, well played. Ostapenko had a chance to put that ball away. Well, this seemed impossible 15 minutes ago. Sevastova was staring at the exit in set two. Oh, that's just the most extraordinary set of tennis. And look at that reaction from Ostapenko. Excellent use of the backhand slice again from Sevastova. That's a beauty. No matter how much firepower she has, and clearly a reminder she has plenty. And things have turned around fairly drastically again. Just so good. What an amazing conclusion to this match. Anastasia Sevastova won 10 of the last 11 games to halt any chance that Ostapenko had of really turning this match around. And even though Ostapenko took the second set, the momentum had once again swung the way of Sevastova. And she is into round two, and deservedly so.